The big story at 630 today is sky high insurance rates and it's all because of last year's hurricane season. People living in one condo building in Daytona Beach Shores have seen their rates go up more than 500 mm. percent. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay shows us how this is putting a lot of people in a financial bind. It's just not fair. Patty Blaze's dream is in jeopardy. She moved to Marbella condominiums seven years ago after retiring. She's always wanted to spend her retirement years beachside. I had budgeted for my monthly expense to be a certain amount. But as property insurance rates reach sky high levels, she has some decisions to make. I've got enough reserves to maybe ride out another season of this insurance, but if otherwise I might have to sell the place. Jim Smith, the president of the board of directors, says during a normal year, they would pay about $40,000 for insurance. This year, they paid over $260,000, an increase of over 500%. If you could just summarize your emotions as you've been navigating this over the past year and some change. Frustration. He says they haven't even filed an insurance claim since the building opened. They're never going to have to pay a claim here because our deductible is so high, too. Our deductible is a million dollars. For Blaze, the hike shows up in an $1,100 bill every month. That's roughly a third of her living expenses. I'm actually looking for part-time jobs to try to try to bring some extra, you know, money in to try to dampen the cost of this uh, of these increases. Insurance expert Carl Sussman calls the increases outrageous, and they're impacting condos all over the place. A 500% rate increase is completely out of sorts and it's completely unsustainable. Sussman says the prices are partially due to a lack of competition in the market. He tells me there will come a day where the prices dip again, but for now, residents will have to weather the storm. We're in for a rough ride for probably another year, maybe two years worst case, but the industry, as it always does, will adapt. Smith says he's in talks with insurance companies and he'll know more soon. But as of now, he's expecting another 30% increase for next year. In Daytona Beach Shores, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.